Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Michaela and on today's video we will be baking a cake. The twist is that I won't be baking alone. I will be having my husband join me. That's it too. <laughs> hey guys. I was introduced myself. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey guys, I, uh, my government name is Ryan Lau Steer, also known as Ryan. Yeah, I go way too much to the my house, yeah, yeah. Uh, husband to my beautiful wife, life with me. So, as I said, we are baking a cake. We are going to be doing it together. So, I'm going to, oh, while we are baking, we will be asking each other questions. Um, we have a list of questions that we'll be asking at random, so let's get started. Okay, so we won't be baking from scratch, we are going to use this cake mix. It is the Snowflake Creations Vanilla Flavored Cake Kit. Um, what we are going to need for... Are we doing a cake or cupcakes? Okay, we can make big cake. Okay. Let's make the mix and decide. Okay. What so we're going need? to need three eggs. We only have two. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, oil and some milk. Now I'm not the type of person who oh okay and wine to drink obviously not for the cake. I'm the type of person who does not mix the wheat and dry ingredients separately. I put it in one bowl because why? Why would I? So my husband gets the wine. I'm going to put this into the bowl and then we will start with the question. Let's see what's what. This is the cake and then this is, of course, the icing. So we are going to try to shush it up a bit with the little decorations we have, but we'll see how it goes. Are you going to do just the diamond in there? Yeah. So, what are you looking for? Oh, it's all screwed. Guys, I actually used to have a baking business. Um, Right when COVID started, and it was doing quite well, but I don't know if I'm not charging 2000 rand for a cake, then it's not exactly worth it because of the price of the ingredients. Hashtag bake with me. <gasps> yes, yes. Bake. Don't play with a boy. Guess I just found my vlog title or video title Bake with me. Okay, so that's that. So you can, I always give the titles and uh, I'm actually the creative director behind Life With Me. That's me. Sure. Believe what you want, guys. Yeah. While you're on, I'm going to ask you the first question. Go for it. False. <laughs> False. Okay, let's see. First question. Should it be a spicy one or a fun one? <laughs> Who in this room do you most want to skinny dip with? <laughs> okay, no. Let me ask you a real quick. <gasps> What's the longest you've ever gone without the shower? <laughs> and not because Yo, you walked, but geez. because you didn't wash. What's the longest you've gone without showering, without washing? Are you going to expose me now? Yes. Uh, Let's be honest. Let's just be honest. Come. Don't judge. Please don't judge. Three days. Was that in or out of COVID? <laughs> in COVID. No, that doesn't count. In COVID. I feel like in COVID people Three just days. didn't wash because... What were we washing for? And you? Probably like the same. <laughs> if not You're more. lying. Could it have been more? I don't know. But yeah, it would have also been in COVID because, like I say, people did not wash or care to do anything. 
You go and win, right? Unless you're going to work, obviously. Okay, the next question will be yours. One, two. Okay. Oh, okay. I need to choose. Yeah. You can choose from here and then you win. Because that's the end of the question. Okay. Let's see. Yes, try. What was that wrong, Um, You have to turn it in and then pull it out. Do I don't know if you know how enough? to pull out. I know exactly how to pull out. Oh my god. <laughs> What's no. the beer thing? Right? You have to hold the bottle and then put it. Yes, put your back into it. Oh, that's when the cork breaks off. I'm not going to get it. Um, okay. Let's start easy. Um, a highlight of this year. A highlight of this year. Okay, let's go with a highlight of the last three years. Oh, that's obvious. Well, there's a few highlights. The first one would obviously be getting married because I got married. And then the <laughs> second one would be actually graduating. And the third one would be, well, I don't know if it's a highlight or a low light, starting a job at a new school. So. Okay. But I think the main highlight for the past, if we say year, from June last year to June this year, then it would be okay. getting married, definitely. Okay. Same year. Okay. Same year. Get down on the wine, so that we can start the baking. Oh, I need to pre it. I'm also going to do this off screen because it might look ugly. Okay, so the next question is mine. Let's see. What would you do? The Mott 2020 Mellow. Wife's favorite. And what's my other favorite? The. Spear mm -hmm. Chardonnay. Mm. Spear Chardonnay. What's Spear my favorite? Or mm. well, not like brand, but favorite wine. Cab Okay. Cabinet Sauvignon. Okay. Wait, I was, I was okay. thinking sorry, my sorry. Sorry. question and now I'm not feeling it because it's disturbed me. Uh, what would you do? If you ran out of toilet paper in a public bathroom <laughs> just after taking a big poop. Is this mine? Oh, so you so don't don't pour. You see, men can't multitask. You can't even think and pour at the same time. Yeah, I'm literally breaking a cake. I'm down. speaking and I'm pouring. I'm speaking and I'm putting the bottle down. <laughs> I'm speaking and I'm cheersing. I can't tell. Okay, so what would you do? Use my I'm blue egg. The eggs. The eggs. Eggs. <laughs> the eggs alone. Mm. Um, I'd use my underwear. Uh -huh. And throw my underwear away, just not wear underwear. Okay, that's smart. If there was no bun in the toilet, we would just throw that No, we know. <laughs> but hold on, is there a line? Is there somebody else coming in after me? Because if not, then I would just leave it there and just like make as if nobody knows. Sorry. If you ever find underwear that has something on it a in a public toilet, just know it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Carry on. You can crack the eggs into you. Okay. Um, you need to ask me now, but I know that's going to take a while because men can't multitask. Okay. I put my head down and I found one. What's the biggest secret you kept from your parents? You're very open with I'm very really open. I don't think but but they hear, I'm sure that there's something. Like probably like I went here, but actually I went there type of a thing. So you lied. Yeah. So how would you feel if your child has to do that to you? It's part of life. Mm. Like if it never killed you, then you just so it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. 
And yes, so I just saw just some this post that says that look it makes it spicier. Spice for us. Yeah, so I don't think I have secrets. I don't think you get it. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think you get it. <laughs> okay. You kind of play with crush on anyone. Yes. Oof. Eva Longoria. Eva, if you see this. Cut! Okay, <laughs> next question. My wife knows that I have a crush on Eva. Um. Supposed to be my turn. Mm -mm. <gasps> Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? And yes. If so, who? Yes. Ooh. Uh, Mrs. Forrester. Oh my gosh. My grade 5 at teacher. At which school? Oh, at Tamil. Tamil Primary, grade so 5 teacher, Mrs. Forrester. No, she's not there. Okay. She left while I was at the school. Oh, did you read all of this? If you guys know Mrs. Forrester, you know. She was quite old, but. But now I have a crush on a new teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that I said I don't mix my wet ingredients separate and now I'm doing it. But it's because this chat is so convenient. Okay, I'm gonna throw this in here. You can also make this too. No, yes, I'm everything, but no, I'm gonna. Oh, I must take some out because we don't have enough eggs. I'm gonna take like a quarter cup. No more. Okay, let me first mix this because it's like sugar and. I don't think it will make a big difference like without one egg because the other be good. I don't think it will. No, I used to bake. So I'm going to take a quarter cup out and if it looks a bit different then... I hear you. Okay, I'm going to think of a question so long. Mm. in the background it's because our neighbor is busy with like a spray gun or something spray gun compressor pressure washer one of those one of those so yeah okay let's see um i'm trying to think you don't have to think the questions are right in front of you I'm, now i'm trying to find a good one okay okay this one is good for you because you like to do this who was the last person you cyberstalked? You always do this. Prada. <laughs> <laughs> the story, yeah. yeah. Guys, yeah. if you're on TikTok, what's the girl's name? Gianna. It, it's a whole thing. This lady on TikTok bought the bag at Prada and then it was defective and she sent it back and she never got the help she needed. So now people are cancelling Prada on TikTok. The comments are funny, so go look at that. Oh. But the last person I saw the stalk was, oh my word, do you know who I think? Who? Eugen McNeil's wife. Oh. Oh yes, I think I remember that. Yeah, I just needed to know if she was South African or not. But then I went like to a very first post, so. Yeah. Next question. Okay, do you want to spray the, oh we're gonna make a cake. We're gonna make two layers. Okay. So do you want to spray the tins? Or should we do one layer? No, two layers is cute. Okay. Okay. Do you have something to put in between now? The icing. Okay. Yeah. We can even put banana. We oh, can put caramel and banana in between maybe. Mm. Yes. Vanilla, caramel and banana. And then add not too much icing on the top. Okay. Okay. What's a scoop to be What would you say if you had to? Oops. What would you say if you had to pretend, oh, who is it now? Pretend to like a present. Like if you got a gift and you didn't actually like it and what would you say? What would I say? Yeah, like if the person, oh yes, a gift and then you like, and then you don't like it. What would I say? Oh my word, thank you. Really? B basic, yeah. Yeah, you all have a person. I think for me you would see it on my face like. <laughs> you, give a, you give a lot away by your face. Face card. Okay. I'm next. Okay, I'll spray. 
These are from when I used to bike. This is how I can tell I was a real biker. Just buying them. I don't like biking biker though, so don't count for me. Okay. What is the funniest thing you've done to get a cut? <laughs> I'm sorry, I love the smell of this stuff. What is the funniest thing you've done to get a crush's attention? I'll spare this one. Also, after this, you have to tell them the story of how we met, how we came oh, yeah, we you didn't tell them. that story. Maybe we should tell that story while the oven, while the oven is in the cake. Oh, wow. While the cake is in the oven. Honestly speaking, though, I don't think I've done anything to get a crush's attention because... Whoa. No, really. When I was younger, I was like a hottie, you know, like... I was. And so I didn't have to do things to get people's attention. Like guys and girls would just be chosen. And me? Okay, this, <laughs> this is a special case. But in general, I don't think I've done things. I have done things to get like a boyfriend back. Like when you open a new Facebook account and you pretend it's your cousin and your cousins are saying, Oh, Mikael is so hot, broken. Wait, what? No, no. Really? Surely you've done something like that before? Or when you pretend somebody else is chatting on your phone, oh, this is Mikael's okay, sister, she's so sad. And you pre I mean, you've done something. Oh, but I heard you speaking about this before. Yeah. I think you, you spoke about when did you speak about I don't know, but it was a thing. Not for me. Do you want lim no, lemon and caramel don't go. So no, I'm just going to be playing with yeah, so you pretend to be, to, be, to be somebody that you're not to get a guy's attention. Yeah. Not a, attention for him to like take me back. <laughs> okay, well that like mix it days. What can you do in Guys, remember mix it. Mix it, BBM. If you don't, you're too young for this channel. Oh, toilet. And oh, subscribe. Shit. No, I'm joking. Oh okay, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. What else do you do? That All thing, that. everything. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. Should I put every last little bit cut? I'm not so good. Where are you up? Okay, I'm out in the next question before the cakes go into the oven. Mm. Can I put this in the zinc, please? Anything you can even make one. Huh? Nah, I I'm gonna take long. I prefer these ones questions. Um. Would you rather go to the movies or watch movies at home? Watch movies at home. Same here. Like I can't. I'm a homebody. Same. A white body. But Ooh. White body. Another reason, did you also used to like lick the bar when you were child? I mean with chocolate. Ooh. Really? Mm. I can't even in, when I'm watching YouTube videos, I can't watch a movie and just watch it. I need to like be busy on my phone. And in the movies in the movies, like in the cinema, at the cinema, you mm. can't be busy on your phone. So so you the cinema, I'm my own body. No! At the cinema you can't be busy on your phone, that's why I prefer at home. So you can be busy on your phone while you're watching watch a movie. movie. Like, you, like you're getting two birds at once, so you're catching up on YouTube, TikTok, Insta, and you're watching a movie. So it's like double pleasure. Or she falls asleep. Yeah, and if that is at the cinema. Always happens. It would be a waste of money. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven. You're gonna ask me one more question and then you can tell the, the store. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna change this question up a bit, right? Okay. It says, what are the things you value the most in someone? But I'm gonna ask you, what are the things you value the most in your yeah. husband? Obviously, there's something that would bring you. I think the first thing is what are the things you value most in you? Your patience, because I I can't be patient. Your patience, 
and um, the way you pay about other people and sometimes you care too much about other people but um, yeah I think your patience and the way you genuinely care and how hard working or like driven you are for things you want in life thank you yeah. that was a sweet moment that's cute okay and you now I'm happy Huh? So, what do you value the most in me? Yo, where do Besides I start? Besides all of this. Okay, that would be first. That cat's going to start, you know. Um, your caring nature. Mm-hmm. Your motherly, wifely nature. Which, sure, this woman right here. Amazing. Just For what? Everything, just the, just your gentle being, the way you always want things to be done the way that it must be done. Like, I come from a, can I, freestyle? Mm. I come from a... Uh, can I get some snacks for this? Yeah, you may. <laughs> now, I'm not going to freestyle long. Um, so, I come from a very loving, caring family, so guys. So to be with a wife and a lady who that, reciprocates that. Ooh, ooh. English teacher. Um, who reciprocates that. Uh, I appreciate that a lot and it makes me feel at home in our home. So that's uh, probably top of the list. That is if you had to ask what is a pet peeve. Okay. Ryan cannot have a story straight to the point. I get it he from first, my mother. He first needs to go left and then. I get it from my mother. Mommy, if you're watching, shout out to you. We love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the story on how we meet. How I met your mother. <laughs> how I met your Zay. <laughs> Carry on, carry on. Oh. I was literally at primary school. You don't eat with food in your mouth. You don't eat with food in your mouth. Sorry. Carry on. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I went to primary school and I was very close to my mother. Like, I was very close to my And like I mentioned before, I was a hottie. So naturally, I was drawn towards modeling. And. You know, scams aren't the new thing. There were scams back in 20, what year was that? 2009. There were scammers then as well. So I was part of a modeling agency, but we heard the years at Lentegeer Library. Anyway, that's not the point. But that is where we You made. see now, pet so, peeve. Um, mm. What? No, I must have the old story. Okay. Just in case you wonder why I'm not like at boss models or GQ, it's because okay. it wasn't a real modeling yes, agency. Yes. But that is where I met him. And I liked him first on the very first day. I will never ever forget this outfit in the world. Jesus sandals. That, um, what do you call it? Harem pants or, you know, the nappy pants? A vest, a white shirt, a snood, and a leather. <laughs> What is that? That bags that Avon used to sell with a little strap. No, it it wasn't, wasn't that one, but it was like that. I got okay. you the Avon one. And I think they had on sunglasses. <laughs> that was the outfit, and it was like, oh my god, like who is he? And it was the only guy. Yeah, he was Green like, you know. And we were friends at first, obviously. Myself, my best friend, Chennai, and then the three of us were like, very close feelings, but obviously I caught feelings. And then when I told him that I had feelings, he was like, you are like a sister. Oh, you can ask it in there. He says it's because he was high school and I was primary school. But it is true. So if anyone can relate, feel free in the comments. I was at, wait, it started, we were both in you primary were great, school. Hey, no. The first time we saw each other, first time we met, we were both at I was in grade six. Yes. She was in grade eight. She was in grade six, I was in grade eight, right? It was like the beginning, like I think before school started. Then after that, 
The following year, I was in grade nine and she was in grade seven when she told me that she mm -hmm. liked me. And me, being all big, I'm in mean, high school, you know, I was like, I don't have primary school, like. I don't have time for school, school bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for, for youngins and stuff. But honestly speaking, we had a good relationship. Yeah, good regardless of being um, and, friends only. And uh, I didn't want to spoil anything that we had at that point because we were very close. We could share everything mm. and anything with each other. And then that, me kind of rejecting her caused us to go separate ways not really what caused us to go separate ways is was the new girl in his life he had a girlfriend in between I know. anyway so after that when i was matric and he was like a second year no you were first year because straight after high school he took like a gap year sort of um <laughs> so when I was in matric I needed a matric partner and like I had a lot of guy friends but I was like no man like nobody's what I'm looking for the image you know for the pictures for the instant things like that then this is how it came about the last Christmas that we saw each other we each got each other the same gift which was so weird I gave him a picture of the two of us and he gave me a picture of the two of us, different pictures, but it was like frames and that was the gift. So wherever we moved, my mother would always put this picture like in the lounge or dining room or wherever. So we're sitting and I'm telling my mom like, oh, I need a matric pool partner. And then like she looks at the picture, she's like, why don't you ask Ryan? And I'm like, where the hell is Ryan? <laughs> To mommy because she's the og she the is plug the, guys if you're looking for the plug you know sheena she's like sheena for relationships you know who's she the lady that's all the tech is in the guest the guest <laughs> oh yeah the plug so um i reached out to him but obviously he was not on the socials and then i had to go like via via and then i spoke to another guy friend who he um, went to church with or something, got his number. And then I was like, hey, I need to ask you a favor. No, did I ask you in person? Or did I ask you over the phone? I didn't um, ask you in person. Yeah, that I, is so big of me. I think that you just, you message to just say, hey, do you remember? Yes, I think so. Oh. Anyway, you? no, it's fine. So, um, yeah, then it was like a week or two later, we saw each other again. He actually came to like pitch me at a party. And then like from there, it's been, so that was 2015, so I'm giving our ages away. Um, not that it matters. So that was 2015 and we've been together ever since. We actually started dating November of 2015 because he was a gentleman and waited until I was finished with my final exams. Again, I was not gonna do with school, but I first finished school and then. Oh, so that's why. Yeah, then you were a big girl. You wanted a grown <laughs> woman. Now I know. I thought it was like, oh, she needs to focus on. No, it was. It was that. It was that. It was so that. you wanted a grown woman to be married to as well because you waited until we graduated to propose. No, but that. That's different. That we established. You know what? I you know, realized in bed. You know when you lie in bed and you have epiphanies? So you actually owe me an engagement. No, you don't. You didn't. You took the graduation event to propose. But that was a planned thing. Okay, okay. Exactly. Hold you didn't on. plan oh, a separate. On. Hold on. So, in our. After our first year of dating, right? In our second year, I knew that I was going to marry this amazing woman right here. I knew that, right? In our second year. But a year after that, when she asked me, look, are we going to get married or something? Or what's the plan? Yeah, I was very asked. I specifically told her that we are going to wait until we both first graduate to fully focus on... Which took on, longer than anticipated. Yeah. Which 
yeah, to focus on our studies first and then we'll take the next step to make things a bit easier. And then we took both those steps in the same year. <laughs> and that happened to be us graduating like two, three days apart three days from each apart. other. Two days apart. You were the Wednesday, I was the Friday. And then the Friday we had a joint uh, graduation party. party with both of our families there. And what better time to propose? It was, it was written in the stars. You owe me an engagement, engagement set up. So, what's that place? Um, limited, limitless. Expect a call soon. I'll eat you up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how we met. And we are still together. The rest is history. It, it actually all. Yeah. yeah. You left out the book. Like what? The spicy part. Like what? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so technically we were friends for friends can be lovers. Very long. Lovers can be friends. And then we started dating and we were dating for seven years. And then I And then we were friends for seven years. Yes, we dated yes. for seven years, engaged for, for seven, seven months, months and, and then, then we got we married. married. Okay. Uh, cancel, cancel, yeah. cancel, 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 And it doesn't count because the camera's on. Eh? That's proof. Mm. So yeah, here we are. Years later in our own house. Adulting. Yeah. Trying to adult. And yeah. There will be more to come. Lots more, hopefully. Oh, he's also going to be famous. So if you see him on the billboards. It's my man. Oh, my man. <laughs> anyway, we are going to wait for the cake to bake and then we will come back to this and ask more questions, maybe. Should there be more juicy questions? We will ask and answer. Yeah, yeah, I find the one, give me what you need me, I know what you like, I feel it for me, tell me that she gets that, I try to need you, but I need some lessons, I need to get slightly cold on oh, the sides of school the top is a bit warm but we are going to ice and decorate icing Go oh well, it's going to do a chocolate drip but my chocolate is over so i'm going to use this which was from a gender reveal cake and now we are not making no hints dropped it's just what i had left from my Italian hazelnut. So you're gonna make some lovely 
like filtered coffee but with our coffee machine and a slice of cake and then we're going to have supper <laughs> so cake yeah. first then supper <laughs> eat your veggies kids we don't even have any veggies without supper eat and your veggies salt. Salt veggies i think that's cute order that's cute guys we have our coffee um and now let's taste what we have made it's not great. <laughs> Ooh, the icing sit nicely because it's that cold must we do it after wedding come 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 for the camera mm -mm, mm -mm. you see this now Ryan! Yes. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. It's at the bottom of the plate! Where do you want to cut through the plate? Through the counter. I'll just try to get it. Perfect! It looks good. Oh, that looks so nice. But yeah. looks can be deceiving. I'm going to start mine. Yeah. Mm, let's taste the coffee first. Because you don't want the sugar to alter the taste of the coffee. You're missing. Come, let's taste it. This is the what? Italian nasal nut. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's quite weak. I like it. I don't, I don't know. It's like normal coffee to me. Then pass that spoon. Oh, this looks so good. This looks so, so good. You see what I mean by I'm not patient. It's like you all. And then I'm like. So I'm just going to get the first bite. You go for it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, no. This is not even any an exaggeration of like a taste. You taste. Big one. This cake is so mm -hmm. light, fluffy, soft, melt in your mouth. Oh my gosh, the caramel and the banana. Mm. I think it wouldn't be the same without like the caramel and banana also. It adds an extra. This is very nice. I personally find that the icing and the caramel makes it very sweet. And I don't like overly sweet things. So for that reason, I will give it a 9 out of 10. What will be your rating? I'm a sweet guy. I like sweet things. Mm -hmm. Um, nine and a half, maybe. Why waste the other point five? Why won't you give it a ten? Because you didn't make it from scratch. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Your things from scratch. Guys I'm gonna have this bottom off, and you can have the top off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Is this the first time they see you eat on camera? No. Okay. I had supper alone. When we were oh, alone. yes, I've, I've, I've seen. I've seen. I've seen. Can I have mine or not? Oh. Okay. And I think because it's also like 
straight out of the oven, it's like extra, extra moist or fluffy. Mm, because it's still warm also. But I think that once it does like cool down and set, it's still going to be. Mmm. Guys. Mm. And bear in mind, we only had two out of the three eggs we needed. <coughs> so we took a random quarter cup out. And it's perfect. We took the quarter cup out, but I still used all the oil and milk. So I actually think in future I will do it the exact same. I'll take out the quarter cup of the mix. I'll still use two eggs to save eggs because eggs are expensive. And I'll do the exact same measurements for the milk and the oil because it came out perfect. Like I could have another slice, but we never had supper yet. So saving it for I'm after saving supper. it for after supper. It, oh, look at this. Look at this. I'm so impressed. Like I don't think I've been this impressed with my own cakes, have I? Is that the steam? Oh yeah, no, that's the steam on the yeah. This is amazing thumbnail. Anyway, it's been great having my husband with me. This is hopefully the first of many videos together. Mm, I can see the views of this hopefully skyrocketing because of him. Oh, so, too. so maybe I'll have him on my channel more often <laughs> But if you haven't already Please like, subscribe, share And watch until the end Thank you so much guys Have a great week ahead